It's a great joy to see all of you here. 30 years ago, uh, you know, our church has a tradition of uh, welcoming visitors. And 30 years ago, a family visited us in this church. Uh, and uh, I happened to talk with the, uh, with the gentleman on the day. Uh, and then uh, I was then off to Nepal. I was 15 days preaching and teaching in Nepal. And when I came, I found this wonderful family. And uh, they had a beautiful daughter whom I ended up getting married to. And uh, this is the family of my, of my wife. Uh, and uh, when you came in, you would have received uh, this. Did you receive this? OK. Can I see that? Oh, very good. If anyone has not received it, our ushers are ready to hand this. If anyone has not received, you can pick up your hand, and we will send it to you. Good. I'm just going to, going to read this. Mama Yolanda's native language is uh, Spanish, and my Spanish is not very good, and her English is not very good. So I am going to read this, uh, read this uh, very quickly in English. Uh, don't mind my speed. OK. Uh, and this is Mama Yolanda writing, and not me. On my 90th birthday, with gratitude to my Lord Jesus Christ for life and salvation, I want you to give me five minutes of your time. My name is Yolanda Martinez de Ojeda. I was born in La Nion, Narnia, Colombia. Narino, not Narnia, OK? Uh, my, my head is in Narnia. OK. After being married for almost 50 years, 12 years ago in the year 2010, my beloved husband, Mr. Francisco Javier Ojeda Montero, a man of God, went to the Lord's presence. We have six beautiful children, Liliana, Rosa, Gloria, uh, uh, Javier, and Carlos, and Manuela, who are very precious to me. When I got married, I was successfully working in, for the government. However, uh, we had the conviction that we should invest our time bringing up our children with good foundations, honoring and loving God, parents, and other people. This would require more, that, more of my time. I therefore resigned from my job and took care of my family at home full time. My husband was a hard worker. He was responsible, always took care of us, and loved us greatly. He initially worked in Telcom, Colombia, where he retired as a team leader when he was 39 years old. In 1973, we started working for the United Nations. We traveled to Cairo, Egypt, and from then on, all of our children studied at international schools. After four years, my husband was transferred to Israel, just as the Israelites passed uh, to the promised land from Egypt, we traveled together through the wilderness of Sinai from Egypt to Israel. It was very exciting when we entered Israel because we felt a lot of peace. It is God's land, and although Israel has always been at war, a lot of peace and joy surrounded it. While in Israel, we were invited by a young woman, Luz Dari Chamorro, to her house for a Bible study. Two missionary, Johannes and Carmen, sang praises to the Lord and shared about the Lord from the Bible. We listened with great interest to the explanation of the gospel. We learned that to be saved and to know God, it was necessary to be born again and surrender our lives to Christ. Believing that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and confessing with our mouth that Jesus is Lord. This teaching challenged us greatly because we believed that we had earned a place in heaven by belonging to our religion and doing good works. We had never been told that we should be born again spiritually and be baptized. In March 1981, my husband and I and three of our six children repented of our sins and committed our lives to the Lord Jesus and were baptized in the River Jordan. We witnessed many changes in each other's lives. God's peace filled our hearts. We started to read the Bible and we tried to practice what it said. Our personal and family lives started to improve. We prayed as a couple that all our children, their spouses, and future generations would come to know the Lord. Today, all our children follow the Lord and most of our extended family as well. 
My husband's work took us to several countries such as Israel, Egypt, Lebanon, Syria, Ethiopia, Costa Rica, Honduras, Guatemala, India, Pakistan, Namibia, and Mozambique. And we visited many other countries. Through the grace of God, our children were educated in many countries around the, around the globe. We lived abroad for 22 years under the protection of God as some of the postings were in war zones. During all these years abroad, we were able to open our house for the gospel prayer and Bible study meetings where people from different nationalities were saved and discipled. Chamorro and Basara family, you know Basara were part of this church also, uh, were our team in the Great Commission. God gave us many pastors who discipled and taught us the word. Among them, Pastor David, Valerio, Carlos, uh, Campano, Poeta, uh, uh, <laughs> Fernandez, uh, and Andres. Uh, we thank the Lord for our current ones like uh, Pastor Hector Pardo, who has again preached here uh, in Colombia, and Pastor Isaac. Uh, Alekum Ampa, one of the husband's Philippine co-worker who was attending our Bible studies, one day gifted me a ukulele. Uh, he showed me how to play some chords. From th that day onward, the Lord gave me the ability to play it for praising him along with my entire family. I learned to play approximately 300 Christian songs. To this day, we sing praises to the Lord Jesus all around the world. We share as a family the hope we have in Christ that hope that once two missionaries shared with us freely, and this is our joy. I encourage you to give your lives to Christ. Open your hearts and start a new life with him. When you repent, come to Jesus and ask to be born again. He forgives all your past sins and gives you a new life. To all of you who know Christ, I encourage you to be faithful to him and share with others that new life that the Lord Jesus has given us. I thank God for the long life he has given me, full of great satisfaction. The departure of my husband, Javier, was very sad and hard, but the Lord Jesus has been my refuge and strength to move me forward. I was lately diagnosed with cancer. The Lord healed me from this and other illnesses and extended my life. I have held on to the promise in Psalm 68, 5, which says that God is a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, and have continued to serve the Lord with all my family. I ask our Heavenly Father to allow me to use my talents and serve my blessed and faithful Lord Jesus until I go to be with him in heaven. My desire is to serve my Lord, my family, and the community until Lord Jesus calls me into his presence. God bless you. Mama is going to, with, his, with her four daughters, is going to give us a number. Viva la fe, viva la esperanza, viva el amor. Viva la fe, viva la esperanza, viva el amor. Viva la fe, viva la esperanza, viva el amor, que viva Cristo. 